Okay, it's mm -hmm. a little big, yeah, but well, big is in right is. now. <laughs> it is, and we're going to figure out what this is exactly in a moment. This is so cool. Private space travel operations, are of course, are cropping up all over the world. And the idea of everyday folks going into orbit isn't so far-fetched anymore. Now doctors at the Scripps Translational Science Institute right here in San Diego are trying to find out how living in space could affect your health. Here to tell us more about it is Ravi Kamataretti and Dr. Patty Barrett as well. Good morning to the two of you. Good morning. First of all, what is this I have on? <laughs> what is this device? You have a, a, a next generation mobile health device on. It's made by Sotera Wireless, which is a uh, startup here in town, mm -hmm. which has uh, produced this unit. And it was originally designed to capture vital signs right. for critical care units and step down units in the hospital. So now you've revised it to, to make your work into space uh, uh, more reliable. Talk about that. What, what are you in the midst of doing right now? Uh, at the moment, uh, we tested this particular device, which has been approved for, by the FDA for use in critical care units like intensive uh, care systems, coronary care units. So this is already being tested in these environments. What we want to know is, can we capture the data that's been captured there and capture that on people who are in the microgravity or zero gravity environment? And really that's to create a data set of information of people with medical comorbidities in this environment. because. These people, we don't really know what's going to happen with them. Yeah, the whole point of this is, let's go back 40 or 50 years when the Mercury program was, we didn't know what was going to happen to the first astronauts that went into space. This is a whole new, a whole new uh, frontier as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. And, you know, the interesting thing about that is that NASA was pioneering in the, in the things they did to, to, to evaluate those people in there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the technology we have today in the ICU, in the hospital, uh, this, this wireless health and mobile health revolution as well in the consumer space is coming from uh, that original investment of time and money and, and transfer technology out into the commercial sector. So it's almost like it's coming full circle in some sense. And uh, as everyone knows, or you've probably heard of, you know, there's a, a lot of wireless and, and uh, uh, mobile medical devices are becoming right. a part of clinical practice and, consumer, and, and consumers who are interested in knowing about their health. Yeah. And if we can bring these devices, why reinvent the wheel? If we can bring these devices back into uh, research for medical research for space travel. Now the video we have is you guys down in Houston actually going through this process of zero gravity. How was that? <laughs> it, it's, yeah, it's really hard to describe. It's amazing to, to, to be a part of that, to have that opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. It's, it's, <clears throat> it's like the world's biggest roller coaster. Imagine going over a speed bump that's 10,000 feet high and falling down the far side at 20,000 no. feet per minute. Can't imagine. That's, yeah, I mean, and <laughs> it's, it's, it's a fun time, but it's, a, it's, it's the only way we have here on Earth to test and actually simulate the microgravity environment. Yeah. So it's, a, it's an interesting roller coaster. So the bottom line is astronauts train their, well, well half their lives to go into space. These people that are going to be going into space over the next 20, 30, 40 years, they're not going to have that training, and you've got to know if they can survive in space, right? I think there are going to be different levels of training for those people, but let's face it, astronauts are very healthy people. Yeah. I mean, they're basically elite athletes that you take up there. I'm definitely not an elite athlete, but I'd like to know what, how my body would react to that environment. Right. And I think a lot of other people would, know, would like to know as well. Well, how's mine reacting to just this interview? How are we doing here? <laughs> I think uh, we're not doing so well. Oh, perfect. really? <laughs> I don't know if you want to know your heart right now. I'm kidding. Uh, but uh, this is a demo unit, so this isn't, these aren't real numbers on there okay. yet. But okay. um, Am I safe? You're safe. Yeah. Am I in the, in the safe zone? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Both of them are kind of smiling. like, oh, oh, maybe we got something to talk about after this. Guys, thank you so much <laughs> yeah. for being on. We appreciate it. Come back sometime, too, when you, when you learn some, some more here in the future. We'd love, love to have you. Absolutely. Back. Very interesting stuff.